The San Diego County could be only a day away from the state's most restrictive tier. If our adjusted case rate is higher than seven per 100,000 people tomorrow, we will be forced to move from red to purple in the state's four-tiered reopening plan. Newsday's Brandon Lewis has more on what that would mean. Now, Carlo and Barbara Lee, we spent several weeks hovering at the upper limits of the red tier, and now our unadjusted case rate calculates to somewhere around a 10, so we would need a significant amount of testing to have been done in the past week to avoid us moving into the purple tier. I anticipate tomorrow, you'll hear from Dr. Galley, uh, that we will see more restrictive uh, tiering based upon case rates that have begun to increase. San Diego County could join others across the state in moving into the most restrictive purple tier. It would push businesses outside or limit capacity in an effort to curb the spread of coronavirus. People are letting their guard down. They're taking their masks off. They're starting to get together outside of their household cohorts. They're starting to see businesses reopen and we're starting again to see more people mixing. At worst, we could be entering a third wave of cases. Our worst to date happened over the summer and took about eight weeks to control. An increase in hospitalizations lagged by just a few weeks. Governor Newsom says it follows a similar curve seen during the 1918 flu. This was anticipated. No one is surprised by this. If this virus uh, follows similar trends, we could anticipate something along those lines again. History may not repeat itself, but as they say, it rhymes. If San Diego does move to purple, we would have to stay there for a minimum of three weeks. We could only go back to red once our adjusted case rate is at or below a seven and stays there for 14 consecutive days, which may prove challenging with the upcoming holidays. It really matters who's been in your stable sort of cohort, who you live with in that household that matters. So it's not a surprise that we see household gatherings as a major source of transmission. But at the same point, it's a place where we can make important inroads. Our own choices can really reduce that transmission. State health officials will calculate our case rate tonight and then release it sometime before noon tomorrow. Our local county health officials are expected to speak to the public sometime about 2.30 tomorrow. Carlo and Barbara Lee. All right, thanks, Brandon. San Diego County released new coronavirus data today ahead of tomorrow's reassessment by the state. 401 new cases were reported today. That's a 4% of more than 10,000 tests taken. The 14-day rolling average is 3.3%. Hospitalization rates had a spike over the last week, up to the same levels they were back in August. No new deaths were reported today. That is typical for a Monday. Tomorrow, we'll know if San Diego moves into the state's purple tier that we were talking about, restricting in-person business 